Power toys are back, but is there still a place for them in the modern world? Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. PC users of a certain vintage will remember Microsoft Power Toys from Windows 95, and they've made their return in 2019, with the initial two offerings, Fancy Zones and Windows Key Shortcut Guide, being made available via a single download from the GitHub URL shown on screen now, and in the written description accompanying this video. In the releases section, we note the initial signature is provided by Janae Systems, with future releases to be signed by Microsoft, and we'll return to the significance of that during the installation process. We expand assets, and with assets expanded, we download PowerToysSetup.msi. Once downloaded, we click to run. At the opening screen of the setup wizard, we click next to advance to the license agreement screen, where acceptance of the terms is mandatory and indicated by ticking the relevant box before clicking next to proceed. At the installer options screen, we deselect automatically start power toys at logon, as we won't be using them in every session at this early stage. You may wish to make them permanently available as part of your startup. As per our usual practice, we enter a custom installation path before again clicking next, then clicking install to begin. Installation is immediately paused as user account control interjects, as it has on so many other occasions in our tutorials. On this occasion, we are immediately drawn to the signature provided by Janae Systems, where we might otherwise have expected to see Microsoft, and we are reminded that we were advised as to this possibility at the outset of the download. This does, however, serve as a timely reminder to only click yes when we fully understand why the permission is being granted. The installation resumes, with progress indicated by the status bar. Once installed, we click finish and launch. User account control returns, this time to confirm permission to run, and again, we provide our consent. At first glance, little seems to have happened, but note the appearance of a new icon in the lower right. Rather than running the app as you might expect, clicking that icon takes us to App Settings. With the app running, pressing and holding the Windows key shows the keyboard shortcuts available, and pressing the key indicated in combination with the Windows key will perform the function shown. Note also the numbered taskbar programs, which can be launched by using the number associated with that program. Unfortunately, this appears to be the full extent of Windows key shortcut guide at this time. Whilst it provides contextually relevant information, and saves us a Google search, its current scope is decidedly limited, and it would certainly benefit from extension into, for example, control key shortcuts in Microsoft Office. We had hoped this would be an informative reference source for projects like our Stream Deck Hotkey tutorial, and can see potential for this app if extended beyond its current, rather limited scope. We now turn to the more fully realised Fancy Zones, which divides the desktop into pre-configured zones into which application windows can be docked. This is essentially a more powerful and flexible version of Windows Snap. We click the Power Toys icon, arriving at the Power Toys General Settings, where we select Fancy Zones settings, before clicking on Edit Zones, which can also be summoned by Windows key plus tilde. By default, we are presented with three zone layouts, but the number of zones can be increased and decreased using the plus and minus buttons respectively. We can also create an entirely custom layout from the Custom tab by selecting Create New Custom. We'll demonstrate using a standard template, and we select the three column layout. Note also that the space surrounding the zones can be configured, and the layout itself further edited. We click Apply. Here, our YouTube page is currently occupying the full desktop, so we hold down the Shift key and drag the window. We now see our three column layout, and releasing the mouse button at this stage will drop the window into the rightmost column. We move to the leftmost column and release, docking the Chrome window in the left column. Now we add a Word document to the central column, and an image gallery to the right, replicating a possible workflow. We could set this desktop up using any number of zones in any number of configurations to suit our requirements. We can also further customise fancy zones through a variety of options. We look forward to further additions as the development of Power Toys continues. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.